Now, think of the world's great high-tech rivals to California's Silicon Valley. You might come up with India, perhaps China, even Britain. But now Israel is laying claim to be the new Silicon Valley, spending vast amounts of money on research and development and trying to build its economy around a high-tech future. Our technology correspondent Benjamin Cohen reports from Tel Aviv. The traditional image of Israel is one of antiquity, religion and conflict. But contemporary visitors to Israel are equally likely to come to the beaches. For venture capitalists, though, there's more attractive things to look at than just the sun worshippers. Israel is home to thousands of tech startups and many of the web tools and gadgets that we use every day were born in this tiny state. So how has the Holy Land turned itself into the mecca for technology? 40% of Israel's exports are high-tech. Memory sticks, online chat and the first antivirus software were all invented here. Just push back and forth. Just like the technology that allows you to control computer games and your television through hand gestures, which is now redefining the games industry thanks to being in millions of homes via the Microsoft Xbox Connect. Technology invented by a tiny Israeli startup whose founders met while serving in an elite technology unit of the Israeli army. The military receives over $3 billion in aid from the US government. Many of the Israeli startups that you see around you today are populated by uh, people who came from these types of units. So, so it's very, um, it's a very smooth progression to from the army to create some kind of startup of your own to think of uh, things that you can do with what you learned. Compulsory conscription for all Israelis takes place at 18, meaning that students go to university considerably later than their foreign counterparts. The Israeli students who arrive here are more mature because of the army. They don't accept everything that they hear. So this whole dialogue, yes, of uh, 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 learning something, challenging it, trying to uh, uh, find another solution, it's part of this whole culture of let's find something new. The only resource we can build on is human capital because we don't have all those other resources. One resource that Israel lacks is oil and it desperately wants energy independence from its oil-rich neighbours. So one well-funded startup called Better Place has come up with a radical rethink of the way that electric cars are run. Until now the biggest problem has been the battery. They're expensive and take hours to charge. Israelis will be able to buy an electric car like this, but rent the battery and pay for its use just like you pay for petrol. And if you don't have time to wait for the battery to charge, you'll be able to go to a swapping station and exchange your empty battery for a full one in minutes. This high-tech growth has been fueled by a massive influx of venture capital funds. Per head of population, Israel attracts 20 times more venture capital money than Europe, benefiting startups like social satellite navigation app Waze. As one of Israel's fastest growing companies, it's just raised almost $40 million in venture capital. There was a, one guy who actually had the idea, uh, developed it in his garage and started a service. If you bring the right idea and the right entrepreneur's experience, it's quite easy to, 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 to get a start in Israel. The country has the highest concentration of scientists and engineers in the world. 4% of jobs are for websites like Google, which has its second largest team of developers in Israel. Here at Google's Tel Aviv HQ, more than 200 boffins are working on the technology that we use day in, day out. For example, the system that predicts what you're searching for as you start to type letters into Google was invented right here. But there's a growing tendency for startups to sell out to multinational companies like Google rather than sit in for the long haul and become the next Facebook. There is um, a growing concern in Israel that we're not creating enough of these large companies. Though it's obvious that we have an edge when it comes to thinking out of the box and thinking creatively, maybe we lack some skills when it comes to planning long term, thinking strategically, uh, be, being able to look far out to the future. The British government is pumping millions into growing the UK's tech industry with the hope of rivaling the startup culture of both Israel and Silicon Valley. 
But Israel's success has perhaps been because of a unique combination of factors, a can-do attitude brought on by a lack of natural resources and the spillover effects of a highly militarized state, which won't be easy for other countries to emulate. Benjamin Cohen, Channel 4 News, Tel Aviv.